Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to this channel. So today we're going to talk about the first order uh, filters that include the high pass filter and low pass filters. And we're going to look at the responses of those uh, high pass and low pass filters. If we, if you really understand well uh, the last lecture, the body plots, how we approximate the body plots with the straight lines, this lecture really easy uh, for you. Um, but in the end, I'm going to uh, look at something. We're gonna take a look at a couple of examples along the way and the end I'm gonna show you the hardware uh, it, it appears to me a lot of you are interested in seeing the circuit in action rather than just uh, Doing some calculation, right? Uh, I'm lucky enough to have this setup here So we're gonna take a look at that uh, low-pass filter at different frequency responses and see how close our approximation okay so uh let's start with the frequency response of the uh, first order um low pass filter so as always i'm gonna put the distinct to the uh, google collab notes in the description down below okay if you have any comments feel free to leave any comments uh, i would like to get some interaction to keep the channel growing over time and also hit the subscribe button uh, let's get started. So let's say we have a trust function of uh, Ts O equal to K over S plus. So in this case, K and alpha are real numbers, are real, are real numbers. And the um, K could be positive or negative, but alpha is positive only. So in that case, for any practical circuit, we're going to have a negative pole. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Um, well, if we can, if we can um, uh, approximate uh, the the gain and and the um, phase plot, so the gain function in dB is twenty log v t j omega, right? And the log is base ten, and in this case, I would like to write this in a uh, slightly different form the TS, okay? So the reason for that is it's easier to see the approximations. So this is the very commonly used technique. Numerator, or if we have a numerator, we have one S over the pole of over the uh, uh, zeros. So in this case, I will divide this numerator and denominator by alpha. In this case, I get a one plus S over alpha. In this case, on the, on the numerator, I get a K over alpha. So in this case, when uh, the 20, that's going to be 20 log of k over alpha. Remember, if we have the uh, the ratio of the two functions, if we take the log, that becomes the subtraction instead of division. And in this case, uh, log base 10, 1 plus j omega over alpha. And if you remember what we the approximation of the last time, and so the the negative of these this term would be something like a um, it's something like the line at low frequency you got zero dB and then at high frequency you got a negative twenty and the corner frequency also called the cutoff frequency that's at omega c which in this case omega c should be equal uh, alpha right so this is actually quite and here this the first term just gave a gain give a uh, give a, a constant number so in this case we um, we can see at low frequency so when t uh, when omega equal to zero omega equal to zero the uh, t uh, zero instead of j zero we we say t zero db actually is just equal 20 log um, k over alpha that actually give us the Remember what the shape of this? This is the shape of the low pass, right? And in this case, if I um, include that again there, so in that case, the plot would be something like, um, I may have something like this. So in this case, this is gonna be omega c, and here we have a negative 20 dB per decade slope, and the, the gain here is gonna be uh, just a, T0 dB, right? So this is the shape of this. Uh, and um, of course, I'm plotting this Tj omega dB and the horizontal axis is omega. 
So this is the how you approximate this. So you from the shape we can see this is going to be the low pass filter, right? So let's look at the phase plot. So for the phase plot, the theta omega is just the the angle of tj omega. In this case, that's going to be the angle of uh, the angle of minus the angle of uh, one plus j omega over alpha, right? Because the division of two, we think in polar form. So therefore, their angle would be uh, would be a subtraction. In this. Um, since alpha is a positive, so therefore, uh, alpha will not contribute to any face angle, right? So it depends on the uh, the face angle of the k. If k is negative, we got a 180 degrees for the first term for k being negative. I have minus this term. We know this is going to be. Term, we know that's going to be the at low frequency we have the angle of zero right because the angle of, uh, one is zero at high frequency we have uh, the negative 90 degrees so in this case it's going to be equal to the angle of one just write this here um, or you can think of this as arc tangent this actually we can use arc tangent uh, omega over alpha and if for for k for positive k and in that case, I got a negative arc tangent, arc tangent uh, omega over alpha. So in this case, if I uh, if I approximate the the body plus, so that that would be. And by the way, this t um, when the k is the angle with the 180 or plus minus that will uh, it correspond to the theta when omega equal to zero, right? So this is the so theta zero is just the angle of k because alpha would not contribute to the phase angle. So we will we will plot a straight line there, and we're gonna we're gonna go um, and at high and a high frequency we're gonna have so this is theta theta zero which is the angle of k, and then we. Uh, we have a high frequency. We have we got a neg negative 90 degrees, right? So you get a theta zero minus 90 degrees. So there is there is are there there is a transition range. So in this case, and there will be two decades around the um, omega c. So one decade below this, we we approximate in this, and then one decade above. Which is ten times omega c, and we're gonna draw a straight line that has a slope of negative forty-five degrees per decade. And here, this should be in the middle. That should be the theta zero minus forty-five degrees. And depending on the k, the positive or negative is a negative. Uh, if the k is positive, then theta zero is gonna be uh, zero. So this is the uh, this is the phase plot. Phase plot, and of course here this is negative 20 dB per decade, right? And here, this is the uh, the black lines are the approximations, and this has negative five negative 45 degrees per decade. Okay.